So tell me a little bit about tonight's ceremony, Jane. Okay, it's meant to honor people who have helped build up the ag area here at the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, many of the people that are on the memorial side um, have already passed, but we just want to remember them. We're also trying to honor people who are very active yet today and keeping this agriculture area agricultural. I love that. So when you say you honor people who are involved, is it people who give um, many years of their time and talent and experience to the ag department here at the fair? Yes, and some of them are the directors and things like who have really been in the front line, yeah. but we also try to honor people who have put a lot of time in and they're not that director. They're just the person that comes and it's always there, whether they were picking rocks when this fairground was developed mm -hmm. or whether they're, you know, like checking animals into classes year after year with, yeah. with, no, with no honor, just doing it. Behind the scenes is just as yes. important as those big time positions, correct? Yes. yes. David Wright is actually the chairman of this group, the director of this group, and he does a wonderful job because he was one of those that went back to picking rocks in the very beginning. His family had been very instrumental in planning and working in this area, so Absolutely. he's a great one to be in charge. That's fantastic. Now, um, just overall, your honorees this year, um, how how would you state who they are overall, not stating their actual names, but the kind of people that they are? Okay, we have one that's a 4-H parent in the rabbit group that has been very active with them, just always there to help them. We have another um, fellow that's been very active in the beef program, and he's also the one that donated all the lighting, and he's an electrician, so he's done a lot with the electrician and electricity in the fairgrounds. Um, especially the ag area. Um, we have direct, some, a couple of them are directors of their division, whether they be dairy or um, whatever. But we try to include like any area that's here in the ag area. It's not just dairy, it's not just cattle, it's not livestock. It's, um, we've honored um, people in the um, conservatory or we've honored people in years past from the landscape design. So, so we just try to include everyone in it. It's wonderful. Really, talk about why it's so important to, to keep this alive, to keep the agriculture, the ag building, all the things that happen here around the fair alive and well, like you said, to keep it going, and then to give acknowledgement, why it's so important. Oh, it's just important because it's, um, we just think it's necessary to honor those who have done so much, and maybe it'll encourage other people to step up. The young, some of the younger generation to step up. Let's get those millennials working, right? Yes, yes definitely. <laughs> um, okay, well, I really appreciate you taking your time to do this. You yourself are so busy. You're here every year yes. doing your thing. Um, you know, you're around the fair. It's got to be nice to be a part of it and kind of work with it and then see it all come to fruition. Yes, it is. It really is good. And I, I just love the ag area. That's where I love to do my volunteering. For you. Hey, it's volunteers like you that make all of this work. And let me tell you folks, so many volunteers here every year that um, are spending hours and hours of their time to make your fair wonderful. So thank you, Jamie. Really appreciate it. You're welcome.